Hello. Welcome everyone here to watch the demonstration of modeling a footing foundation. This video will show you how to design a footing foundation using Safe Model. I will present the steps of designing the size of footing. RC Design of Footing. I will upload more teaching content about structure design. Please subscribe to this channel. First, a footing foundation which supports more than one column is called mat foundation which is a large continuous rectangular or circular concrete slab that carries the entire load of the superstructure and spreads it over the whole area. Mat foundation is mostly constructed on weak soil. For more information, you can refer to my future video about mat foundation. Please subscribe to this channel, like and comment. This video will concentrate on designing a mat foundation. The steps of designing footing are shown. First, we should calculate the total load. Decide the design parameters of soil and max settlement. Step 2. Calculate the area of footing required and model it in safe. Step 3. Run the safe model and obtain the settlement value and bearing pressure. If these values are okay, go to the final step, which is the RC design of footing. Otherwise, Redesign the footing layout. Let's start. It is a simple mat foundation with two columns. In this example, I am going to design a footing with a total column load of about 950kN. Assuming that the footing is 300mm thick and, and the area is 8m square. And I can calculate the self weight of footing as 58 kn, which means the total load is 950 plus 58 equals 1008 kn. Then, we assume the soil is medium dense sand. Referring to the design code, I can assume the elastic modulus of soil is 16 megapascals converted in kn, m2. It is 16,000 kn, m2. Now, we have to calculate the soil spring as it is assumed to be flexible cap design. The soil is assumed to be equivalent to an infinite number of elastic springs, as shown in figure 611b. This assumption is sometimes referred to as the Winkler foundation. The elastic constant of these assumed springs is referred to as the coefficient of subgrade reaction, K, the derivation. It is equal to this. Poisson's ratio is taken as 0 0.3. After calculation, the value of K is 8791 K in per meter cube. And I design the soil bearing capacity to be 150 PA. Can be determined by Terzaghi's bearing capacity theory. In this video, I will not concentrate on this theory. I will talk about it in my future video. I assume the bearing capacity will be 150 PA. The allowable settlement is 25 millimeters, which is referring to the code. After determining all the design assumptions and parameters, we can start designing and modeling the footing. First, we should determine the size of the footing. Using this formula, total load which is 1008 kN, and allowable bearing capacity is 150 pa. The area required for footing is calculation. However, the load may not be evenly distributed. Some areas may have larger pressure. We provided a larger area, which we tried to provide 8 meters square on our first try with 2 m width and 4 m long. Then, we start modeling it. Start the safe program. First, make sure the unit is aligned with the data. Cl Click unit and check if it matches with the data. Here, I use metric. Next, the concrete grade will be C45. With reference to code, the strength of C45 concrete is 45 megapascals, and the elastic modulus is 26.4 pa, 
which is 26,400 megapascals. Now, we define the material properties in SIG. Click Define and click Material. Click Add New Material. Select Concrete and name this material as you like. I will name it C45. Then input the elastic modulus, which is 26,400 megapascals. And the weight of concrete, B24.5 K in per meter. Strength 45 in per mm square. Click OK. Click OK. After defining the material, footing depth needs to be defined. In our first trial, I will try 300 mm thick. Select Define and Slab Property and then click Add New Property. Name it as you like. I will name it as FT300. And material for footing is C45, which is defined before. Then input 300 mm for the thickness. Click OK. Click OK. Next, define soil spring subgrade property. Click Define and click Soil Subgrade Property, and click Add New. Name it as FT1. And input the value which is 8791K in per meter cube. Now we draw the footing in safe. Click Quick Draw Area Round Points and select Slab Property FT300, which is defined before. My first trial is 4MX2M. Type 4 and 2 in X and Y dimension and click the origin. A footing around the origin is drawn. Then we assign loading on the footing. The two column loads are here, and the column layout is like this. Back to the model, select draw, select draw point, type 1.5 in plan offset in x direction, and 1 in plan offset in y direction. And the two columns are offset for 1m, type 1 in plan offset in x direction, and click the previous point. Now, I have drawn the two columns, rename them in C1 and C2. Next, we assign load on each column. Here is the loading schedule. Dot back to the model, right click point C1, select load, and then click assign load, input the value in it. And remember to input the dimension of the column which is used to check for punching shear in the safe model. Repeat it for C2. Next, we assign support for the footing. Right click the area in the row of soil property. It shows none, which means no support is assigned for the footing. Click it and select FT1, which is the soil spring I have defined before. Now, support is assigned to footing. I have already input all data into SAFE. Now we can determine the load combination. For bearing pressure and settlement, allowable bearing capacity is used which is the service limit state. Select Define. Click Load Combination. Click Add New Combo. I name it as DL plus LL. Choose the load dead and live with scale factor 1. 4C Design. Ultimate limit state is used, which is 14DL plus 16LL. Click Add new combo. I name it as 14DL plus 16LL. 
Choose the low dead and live with scale factor 1.4 and 1.6. In the design selection, tick, strength. Which ask the safe to help me to design for the RC. Now we can run the model and check for the bearing pressure and settlement. Click, run. After the model has run, click this icon which shows the reaction. Select soil pressure and load comb, DL, plus LL. Click, apply. We can obtain the value of bearing pressure, which is 137 PA, and it is smaller than the capacity. It means the size of footing is OK. Click this icon which shows the deformation. Select load comb, DL, plus LL. Click, apply. We can obtain the value of deformation, which is 15.5 mm and it is smaller than the requirement. It means the size of the footing is OK. Click this icon. Which shows the punching shear? It shows the value of punching shear ratio. If it is greater than 1, it means not OK. You can right click the point to see the detail calculation. In this case, punching shear ratio of two columns is greater than 1, which means punching shear failure occurred, and I need to redesign it. Change the footing thickness into 600 millimeters. Redefine the slab property. Redefine the slab thickness to 600 mm thick. After, we run the safe model again. As the thickness is changed, the self weight of footing increase. It is needed to check the bearing pressure and settlement again. The value is OK. Then, check the punching shear again. Click this icon which shows the punching shear. It shows the value of punching shear ratio is smaller than 1. It is OK. Next, I draw the design strip for the RC design of footing. The width of design strip will be about the depth of footing, which is 600 mm. First, draw the design strip in X direction. And define it as layer of for X direction. Continue to draw in Y direction. Define it as layer B. Now, I run the model again and check the design combination used for a C design. 14DL plus 16LL is considered in the RC design. OK. Click, run. Click this icon which is slab design. I would like to provide one layer of typical uniform reinforcing in X and Y direction, and top and bottom. Select top, bottom, layer and layer Y. First, I would like to try 10 mm diameter bar with 200 mm spacing. Click, Apply. It shows that both X and Y direction need an extra reinforcement bar. Select Layer A. It shows the maximum bar required is 1126 mm 2 per meter. For Layer B, it shows the maximum bar required is 464 square millimeters per meter. We try to provide a 20 mm diameter steel bar. In which the area per meter is 20 square times pi. Divided by 4. And the spacing which is 1000 millimeters divided by 200 millimeters. The area is 1571 square millimeters per meter. Which is larger than the maximum required bar area 1126 square millimeters per meter. I choose 20 millimeters bar diameter for both layer X and layer Y. In top and bottom, 
and click Apply. It shows no extra bar is required. All the design is finished and the design result is present as it. It is the basic process of designing a footing.